Hi, this is Jim, and we're up on the Ardbuckle Bridge in South Australia, which is reputed to be the longest bridge in South Australia. It's on the old Gann train line, it's no longer used anymore. There's a lot of history on this bridge. Up at the end, the far end there is where the train hit the bridge. And uh, when you walk on the bridge, you can actually have a look at the damage that's still on the end of the bridge there from the train. But there's a graveyard on this bridge and uh, I've spent uh, numerous occasions looking for the graveyard of the fellows that passed away or died when they were building the bridge and it's been exceptionally hard to find because the bridge has had three separate occasions when they've actually built the bridge here each time it got washed away by floods until they built this substantial structure as you can see down here, this the old railroad beds going across the side there at different heights to the different bridges. Each one was washed out by varying floods over the years in the outback. As you know, when it rains out there, it's just a sheet of waterfalls out the air. It's not rain like we know down in the south. But anyway, I hunted around and hunted around and hunted around on several occasions, walking all over the country up here for probably a kilometre around each end of the bridge trying to find these graves. On several occasions I thought I'd found them, but um, each time I was mistaken. Now we're up on the Alice Springs end of the bridge, looking back at Port Augusta end, and just below the road, this end of this bridge is the graves on a landing that's here. And I would say the landing was made when they built one of the earlier bridges, and then when they put the new bridge in they went past the landing. And here's the graves. You see this little flat area off to one side? This is on the Alice Springs end of the bridge. And uh, as we pan around, there used to be a campsite here. And here's the graves. Three of them here. Here's the first one, the second one, and the third one there. Very difficult to find. Quite obvious when you do find them. But you have to remember there have been three separate bridges built here. The names of the guys that passed away up here, they're only young men. It must have been horrifically hard out in the desert out here, building these bridges.